right, so apparently the company that owns, let's just call it the parent company of Valley Sports is, you know, almost about to file bankruptcy. I don't think they've technically filed bankruptcy yet. I will explain the whole situation to you without my computer in front of me and use my elephant type memory to the best of my abilities or my, my imaginary elephant type energy. Now, okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna break this down as best as I can. So what we have here is um Fox Sports end up selling off um their regional sports channels, right? Remember L Cool J and Ice Cube was trying to buy some of them, don't think they got any of them, right? Now I technically can't remember why they sold them off, um, but they sold them off. I, I I don't know if it was because of the monopoly and them owning something else or whatever. Don't quote me on that, but they sold them off. You can look it up. I just forget right now. They they sold off the regional sports channels, um, and Diamond Sports bought them. Now, if you look at Bally Sports rating on Google, it is terrible. It's one point six stars. And if you look, Bally Sports is not available on a lot of streaming services. I don't think they're available on any streaming services. So um, a lot of people cutting cable in a regional channel is not available on YouTube, Hulu. I could be wrong, but I think you only can get it through the app if you can get it through the app. So that's money making right there. Now, they're also, they're Bally Sports slash Diamond Sports are also responsible for 16 other uh, uh, NBA markets. So the Hawks and a few other, half the league basically. So what's happening here, they are not paying their $140 million interest payment, right, um, to who they creditors, right? They're gonna trigger a 30 day grace period. So I don't know the technically day, they have 30 days to, you know, make a deal with their creditors and their debts to get this justified, right? Now, also, this plays into the revenue of the league. Now, you know the league lost a lot of revenue. They lost all their revenue, I believe, over there in China as well, too. So now this cuts into the league revenue, the TV market. So at the end of the day, this can have big ramifications of you not being able to watch in, uh, the Pistons, um, for, for this season, after the 30 days, if it's not justified, now the league can step in and say, we can help you, we can't help you. I don't know if they can. But it could be a, a potential blackout of Piston games um, after the 30-day grace period. Now, they can get an extension and say, well, we, we can work out to the end of the season. But, you know, 16 regional you know teams, and then we didn't even talk about hockey neither, or other sports they carry like baseball, might have to be looking for different uh, sports coverage. So, um, but yeah, they're 140 in the hole. They no, they. I, I, my memory serves me correctly. They can be found on any region, on any sports channel, on any streaming services. They rating on Google is 1.6. It's horrible. Um, the product being the Detroit Pistons is horrible. Um, so. So right now they have 30 days to, you know, they said they're going to try to work it out with their creditors. So they don't sound like they got the Ray Willing or don't have $140 million to, to pay their creditors. So then when that happens, you file bankruptcy chapter what, 11, whatever it is, 12, whatever the hell it is. Um, you know, it's letting your creditors know as long as it's not federal, you can't pay, wipe your debt clean, um, the process of building it up. But, um, you know, so it could be could be a blackout. It could work it out. But next 30 days, you'll have piston. Well, whenever that date was triggered, I don't know if it's today. Yesterday, it's been reported by Real GM that uh, dot com that in 30 day got 30 day grace period. You know, to get that 140 million dollar payment in and work a day. They're gonna try to work a deal out their creditors. Now. You know, maybe they make the 140 for the next, you know, make a deal for the next 30. And then after the next 30, there ain't too, too many days left in the NBA anyway. So you think about it, take you to the end of middle in March, because February is short month, depending on the date. So any of them have a couple weeks of the NBA left anyway. <laughs> it ain't like the Pistons going to be in the playoffs. That Then that could become a problem if some of these six, well, six, six, 16 teams, 16 marks, somebody going to be in the playoffs. So then that could become an issue. With them streaming the playoffs, but um, 
But obviously, you know, the NBA, I don't know if they had any um, involvement in pushing through the sale to, to Diamond Sports slash Valley Sports, but it's, it's not been a, a very fruitful one. And maybe that's why Fox sold off the regional channels. So it ain't been a fruitful one. And uh, I don't know what's the process or procedure looking for a new TV channel. Because that means it's a lot of programming. If you got to find a new platform, a lot of programming got to change. Unless the TV deals is already up, you know, but a lot of programming has to change. You know, who going to have the money to put them on there? And then you may see a situation where, where the Detroit Pistons may just do their own app. But that's gonna that's gonna do their own broadcast. But that take that's a it's not a lot of time for that to happen. Cause Detroit Pistons starting their own TV channel, that's that's probably damn near impossible at this point. Cause you would need, you know, obviously you had the the wings, the pistons, the tigers. You just wouldn't have enough programming. Get sponsorships, commercials. So you might see a situation where uh well, 16 other markets, I don't know what they're going to do. They might get their own app. But then you need the sponsors to help pay for all this type of stuff. You need to commercial. It's, it, it's a mess. So, I mean, bankruptcy don't mean they won't broadcast no more. But uh, it could, you know, could be in shambles. Could be in real shambles. So, um, could be in real shambles, but... Yeah, it's been a disaster, bro. Like, and the product is not good right now in Detroit, but there's other, you know, markets that had good products, but that's a problem. You got problems in China. You already got problems with viewership, with the digital era, and the streaming, and all that type of stuff. So the NBA got a problem on their hand here, a big problem, but this is why they hire guys like Adam Silver and, and people in the commissioner's office to handle it, but if they got to go to another platform, these then these Tigers, Wings, and other teams markets that's affected, they might have to just stream through their own stream they own games through the apps, and fans gonna have to pay probably ten dollars a month, fifteen dollars a month. Sponsors should probably jump jump on that, you know, run their ads on there. But you know, the time is especially with baseball around the corner, that's virtually impossible, bro. Basketball got some time. You know, but it is what it is. We'll see. Some and somebody might buy it and pick it up, or you never know. Uh, but right now, the next thirty, you probably you probably gonna have piston basketball for the rest of the season, at least to the at least to right before the end of the season, you gonna have it. So they ain't making the playoffs. So it is what it is. But um, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Limo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Limo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. Peace.